I'm Steve Ekmanovich. I was drafted in uh, November 43, 1943, into the infantry. Uh, and I went into the, what do you call that? Uh, boot camp? Boot camp in November and 43 and spent 16 weeks in Camp Roberts, California, infantry camp. From there I went, uh, I came back home, then went back uh, to uh, the Pacific to, I went to uh, in Hawaii or an island someplace? Yeah, board ship at Seattle and then stopped at Hawaii, stayed over, changed ships on the way to uh, Guam or uh, Marianas Islands and uh, we stopped there for mop-up operations and then we got through there, we went to uh, to Okinawa in the spring of, uh, let's see, the spring of, here that was. Well, was Okinawa invaded yet? We invaded Okinawa in April 19. So you were part of the invasion force in Okinawa? No, I was um, second landing. Second what? Landing. Okay. Yeah, follow up. And uh, we were on there. 65 days, I think, in combat. Then we completed the mission there and went on to uh, the Philippines for rest and rehabilitation for the eventual attack on Japan itself. Now, were you a, a rifleman or? Was I was a BAR man in the infantry. Browning Automatic Rifle. Rifle. Okay. Yeah, yeah cover support. And uh, we completed the uh, <clears throat> occupation, or I mean, the Battle of Okinawa. When that was a that was in the spring of the year, no fall, I think. While you're on, no, we, we went to the Philippines from Okinawa, and then from there, we were preparing for our division was preparing for attack, main attack on Japan. North of on the Hauchu Plain, north north of Tokyo, which fortunately didn't happen hmm. because they dropped a atomic bomb, and we were spared that thing. And then in the, let's see November. So you were in the Philippines when the bomb was dropped. Yeah, we were in the Philippines. I remember we were down on the beach, and. Uh, I'm kind of proud, you know, I don't know what the heck, well, it's part of the rest of you build. But how did you find out about the bomb being dropped? How they, you they announced it over inter, inter calm down there. Okay. On, yeah. To the public. And the, so where did you, what happened to you then? Where did you go from the Philippines if... Well, well after they surrendered, they, uh, <clears throat> Load us up on ship and headed north to occupy Hokkaido, which wasn't occupied yet. We occupied it. So you were part of the occupation force then? Yeah. In Japan. How long were you there? One year. One year? Oh, my God. Because of the fact, in them days, they didn't have a ship or aircraft like they did. But the older, older guys, what do you call them? Seniors? Senior, yeah. Yeah, troops. They, uh, they, they're the first ones to go back, of course, and they put us in occupation <laughs> with no problems. What was, what was your job as an occupying? Oh, just, we were just, uh, had... Be there? Yeah, right. Just to be there and just see what's going on. Right, as occupied. Did you have to carry any weapons then as the occupation force or you no? Know? Just uh, patrols. Did you have to carry any firearms while patrolling? No. Uh, if patrolmen did, but... When we weren't on patrol, we didn't carry no arms. Okay, but when you were in Japan, were you required to carry any rifles or a pistol 
while your occupation? Uh, offhand, I can't remember. recall. But I know we had a quite a bit of freedom. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> How did the Japanese treat you then? Very good. Bound and polite. There was, we went combat loaded, and uh, there was no problem. Now, you were combat loaded? What does that mean? We, we were ready to fire. Fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we had just went in there and they had everything set up, the barracks and where we stayed. And, yeah. And we stayed there one whole winter. A really uh, pleasant weather. Pleasant. Mild. Yeah, it's in the ocean, the northern part of the island. There's a volcano not too far from it. It's spilled into the ocean from us. And uh, we stayed there the entire winter and then moved on down to Yokohama area. Uh, they call the know, place was Camp of Hokodati, something like that. And we occupied there, stayed there for... What, what was the reason they moved you down? I don't know. S because same same function? Same function. Just yeah. kind of patrol, yeah. that was all. Yeah, right. That's right. And uh, more or less a military police. Or, yeah. yeah, okay. Then they all uh, took their turns or whatever, or they were assigned. And, uh, yeah, and then we... Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that... Uh, Took the Korean, took the, the what? Korean uh, slave force that the Japanese captured yeah. in the South Pacific. They came in from the South Pacific, and then we took them down to Yoka, Southern Island of Kyushu. So they shipped them back to Korea, and I was in. Uh, There's two uh, military police to a railroad car about 400 miles from Tokyo south and then we had to go under the ocean uh, there's a railroad went under between the two islands and the, hmm. the, it knocked off the steamer engine and put on electric so we got underneath you know mm -hmm. to the other island how many Koreans did they have to I can't about? Uh, offhand I can't remember quite a few of them there were more than one train Oh wow! Okay. Oh yeah, and then we put new uh, fatigues on them and deloused them and all that, you know, before they went back. And we went to Hiroshima. Just all there was left, and they rebuilt that uh, railroad station. It goes over the, the bridge goes over the river there, and we you could see you could see from there that viewpoint town of Hiroshima that was just like a moon that was uh, in this blue part it uh, all black and concrete sticking in the air and tree stumps far as you can see the only thing that was sticking up was uh, chimneys mm -hmm. hey, st stacks <laughs> smoke stacks and you know why they were standing? No what? You know why they were standing? No. They were wrong. And the impact and the blast on their own. Never put them down. That's interesting. Yeah. That's the first thing I asked. Why are they there? That was it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, we released them down there and come back. Now, were you part of the occupation force that had to rescue the Koreans, or how did you find these Korean people? No, they brought them in by ship from the South Pacific, and we took them from there, south on the railroad, to the, load up on the other ship. Where did they come from? Uh, Various islands that the Japanese oh, okay. had them. Oh, scattered slaves, around. Slaves, gotcha. say labor and all that. Now, yeah. did, did our people do that, or did the Japanese round them up? The Japanese, uh, uh, they brought them. Okay. Yeah. But the ships, I think I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Now back to Okinawa. When you were the second wave, uh, did you encompass a lot of re resistance as the second wave coming in? No. 
that's when we had the, the first wave come in, they never touched them. They laid back. Right. Kind of deep, like a trap. Decoy, yeah. Yeah. And uh, when we come in, it was just all hell. And they were hitting us in the, in the, in the what do you call them, those Higgins craft? Yep, wooden boats, yeah. Yeah, landing craft. That's how you came ashore? Yeah. Right up to here in the, in the water. <laughs> in the gen. A lot of the rig, the, the weapons uh, jam because of the salt water shooting up on, over the front of them. <laughs> they had those ramps, you know, the hidden craft. And salt water got in and caused a problem with yeah. the rifle? Mm -hmm. That fast. Bad. Cause this and you landed on that on that shore and that machine gun fire and overhead uh, bombardment, planes, well, you, know, you name it. It was Sam Hell on there. And we were there for about three days on that shore. I'm just on the shoreline. I'm alone. You couldn't get off the shore? Couldn't get off the shore. It got pinned down. And our, of course, our our uh, planes and stuff were coming in steady, you know, set up a barrage so we could move forward. Did you, did you get hit by any chance? I got uh, I got inland when they were going down the island. It shot off my pack, my back. That's the one I... I Still got to figure out. Huh. The sniper, and the sun was going down in the evening, and I was going across the rice paddy with that BAR. That thing weighed 22 pounds. Yeah, heavy. And uh, geez, I felt a jar, and there's mud up to here, you know. And I didn't stop to look. Just kept going. I'll get the next one, you know. <laughs> Did you? Could you figure out where it came from? No, hell, I says, I better keep, put on an afterburner right there. <laughs> yeah. That's how much gone. And keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Well, did your BAR ever let you down, or is it pretty good? I, uh, I had changed the barrel because um, it uh, got so hot it burnt my palm of my hand. It slipped my hand, <laughs> slipped off the upper hand guard. And, Singe my hand. Wow, that's hot. Yeah. And uh, so, I can't, I can't remember all those, Yontan and Yonaburu and uh, Sugarloaf Mountain. Places like that. They were in the path of battle. So when you got offshore, off the beach, then where did you go? We just keep going just, inland. Just keep going inland. Yeah, right. There wasn't much jungle there, it was pretty low. It was hilly. Low, hilly. A beautiful island. There were a lot of streams and creeks and stuff. And How about caves? A lot of caves. So there were, there were, How'd you get them out of the caves then? Uh, Flamethrowers. And, uh, yeah. And of course, bombing. Yeah. And, uh, so you were fortunate then, you didn't get hit. No, I never, never got really injured. So you were lucky. I was lucked out. Yeah. But geez, when I left, there was only half of the uh, battalion left. Like, you uh, lost half your men. Yeah. We come back, they come back um, bandaged, heads bandaged. It's bad out severity of the injury. Oh, sure. Yeah, they were running in and short them in. How did you know the island was taken over? I mean, was this somebody saying, hey, we've done it, let's go? Or? Somehow there I got a communications. I can't remember exactly. Did you have, what's the island's about 18 miles long or so? It's uh, 65 miles I, is, that I can remember okay. long and about 10 to 15 wide. So how far did you have to walk down the... I went about two, half the length of it that oh. we fought. Fighting all the way? All the way, right. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. they're mostly suicide uh, the, on their, uh, their part. At a hundred thousand, I don't think they, they uh, ten thousand come out of it. That they kill themselves. They, you mean? Kill themselves. Yeah. They uh, they're noted for that. Yeah. When you say a hundred thousand, you're talking about civilian and military, military people, both. Yeah. Or just military. M military alone. Hundred thousand. Oh yeah. cow. Yeah. And I think we lost seven or ten thousand or something like that. Casualties. Having gone through that fight on Okinawa, 
Have you ever had any problems with dreams on it and so forth? It's just just one of those things you did and you forget about it. Uh, no, Dave. Uh, actually, your mind is uh, indoctrinated uh, in, in training mm -hmm. to kill. You don't know it till you get there. You're completely transferred in your thoughts. And, sure. Yeah. Programmed, so right. to speak. No one likes to use the word, but that's what it is. That's it. Well, well, that's what war is, though. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> Strange. When war is over, you're in the Philippines, you occupation force, and then from Japan you went, went back to Hawaii and then home? No, I come from Japan directly home. And to, and to, and to Florida, I mean to California? California, uh, Oakland Army Base. Yeah. You got discharged from there? Yeah. No, I got discharged from Chicago. Uh, oh. What do you call that? Uh, so you went by train from California? Train, oh, yeah. To like Chicago? Two, two, yeah. Where was your home? Where'd you come from originally? Where was your hometown? Oh, I was, uh, I left up in Lawrence Lake, uh, north of Beauvais. Okay. That was my home. This, this year, okay, in the area. Yeah, this was second. Go yeah. back to Chicago and then you took a train back home and... Yeah. Did you have a hard time unwinding from all this? No, I didn't, but I heard a lot of guys did. No. I had a different set, uh, mindset on it. Yeah. As far as I know. <coughs> have you ever gone back to the Japan or the islands? Or no. The Guam or anything like that? Okay. I'd, I'd like to get back there. Well, it's a big tourist area now. Oh, that's wouldn't all be, it is. Wouldn't be the same. Right. Yeah. It was, uh, we used, going back to that island, to Okinawa, I can definitely remember we slept at night if, if we hit the different places. Uh, in Japanese uh, grave, they had mounds, concrete mounds on top of the ground, in the entryways in there. And we crawled and crawled in there at night if we could. But most times you slept out in the foxholes or whatever. Well, wasn't that pretty hard digging in that? Was it uh, soil or ash? I can't remember okay. exactly. How, how'd you sleep at night? You had no tent, you just had to curl up someplace? Just curl up in the foxhole and dig a foxhole. Do what you can. Any, any problems of uh, being attacked at night? Not that I can recall. So the planes are constantly coming over, because I remember the guys getting blown up just along the length of this house away from me in the foxhole. The bombs coming down. Hard bombs? Yeah. No, Jack. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And of course the shrapnel, all that coming down on top, so heck knows how many people that are, that are killed. How'd you even sleep with all that? You didn't sleep. Somehow you did. Yeah. Just grab cat naps here That's and there. It. Right. And you didn't change clothes for a week sometime. Yeah. It was awful. And somehow it was just like a bad dream of some kind. But to try to think back on it. But it didn't bother me that much. But I imagine a lot of guys that did. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the reason we're doing this, of course, is for for the young people to understand what what took place. They don't really. Yeah, they, well, they, they wouldn't understand it. No, they they teach it in the history in school, but I don't know no, what. No, not what like the, It's not like the real McCoy. <clears throat> no, no, no. They have to understand. Like Steve, it's been an honor to be here, and thank you for talking to me. Well, thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here, I'll sit there. Geez, I was supposed to go to the White House and you know, address the Congress and everything else. <laughs> you guys, oh, this, this it's disappointing. It's, it's in the works. <laughs> it's in the works, Here, Steve. I was so solemn and really everything about this shit. <laughs> Skip, I'll tell you. Yeah, I know. It's in the works. I know. <laughs> oh, this is okay. <laughs> I'm mumbling, jumbling here. <laughs> does, does it matter? Yeah. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Steve enjoys life. Mumbling in the <laughs>